is actually, it's a really interesting media. If you think about it, actually beyond advertising, actually it can do so much, you know. It's a really interesting storytelling medium. It allows you to touch and feel and, and interact with a story in the real world, you know, in a way that no other medium does. And I think that's the, that's the real beauty of it. And that's the thing that's usually overlooked, I think. Now, a great screen ad, anything on a screen, any piece of advertising, it needs an idea. And I think actually a lot of where we don't see digital out of home doing what it can do and what it's supposed to do is there is a lack of an idea there or a lack of investment in understanding that space and telling the right story for that space. You're in an outdoor space and you need to understand what that space allows. You know, for example, you can't rely on audio, right? You can't rely, rely on long dwell times because you have lots of people walking past, you know, interacting in a very kind of loud and public space. But that being said, I think it gives you some of the elements that maybe you can take from more performative styles of communication, you know, performance art or theatre or, you know, there, there's some really, really interesting things I think you could be doing there. Digital out of home and conventional out of home are definitely connected because they're both playing in the public space. But I think to lump them into one bag means, I mean, we see it all the time, it just means that the creativity that's available in digital out of home is not taken advantage of. I think the, the technical possibilities are there. I mean, who knows what will happen in the future, but actually I think we've got a long way to go before we actually realise the potential of what's already installed in these like, incredibly intelligent spaces. I think the future of digital out of home is great, but someone just has to land it, like land those amazing great ideas that I don't think have happened yet.